hey, hello uh, swing trader so let me tell you how i do this stock selection okay for this thing so basically what i'm trying to do is like this is a concept tool the same tool uh, i have taken the 20 days okay out of last 20 days right if you look at this selling right where do we see more of selling in last 10 days simple guys the filter is out of last 20 days show me the stocks which are which where we see more of shorts getting built up more of shorts getting built up in last 10 days the logic is so this is showing me these three stocks okay now basically what i want to dislike one particular stock which is continuously making shorts right if it is a very good potential stock so it has a tendency to go up this could be a retracement this could be a reversal remember my video what we have done on last sunday or saturday we have spent like almost 30 minutes in terms of knowing what is reversal what is retracement what is breakout and all these things so now lt is continuously making uh, i mean to say in lt since from last five days there are like continuous selling right so there should be one day where all of a sudden you will start seeing short coverings or you will start seeing longs getting built up simple guys so that's what we need so we need short covering and long built up either way so now what i'll do i'll take you to the lt so this is the lt trade guys uh, i have not plotted the price action this is how it looks by just looking at the price action we can we can easily say that guy this is a momentum stock see it made a high one side momentum then a small retracement this is called retracement so people who went long here they might have started booking their profit this is not the reversal okay guys and then again it it continued its momentum so now this is making what check the pattern guys this is making higher highs and higher lows let me show you if i just plot this uh, trend line this is the trend line guys that's it okay the moment it took the support went up the moment it took the support went up took the support went up so now the stock is standing at here so now this is where you have to take the call right ideally the stock has to come here but it is not mandated that every stock has to come here but technically if you check here there are like all shots getting built up okay so now what happens is like stock can take a momentum from here also so just in case if you are waiting the stock to come and hit this position you might miss out this rally this is a upside momentum let me show you 200 moving average 200 moving average is standing here so already the price is above 200 moving average so this is a momentum stock so though the nifty is falling this is a momentum stock okay now aggressive traders can enter here with a stop loss of this white color trend line point number one just to not miss out this rally just in case if the stock makes a move from here right you will miss out this rally because you're expecting the market uh, stock to come here okay aggressive traders can enter, enter here by having this stop loss at this trend line second thing is like what i'll do is like if you look at this thing i've just set up the alert on this white color trend line <coughs> this is what and this is how i do the swing trading i do not monitor the trade so let it come and hit this line simple guys let it come and hit this trend line the moment the alert gets triggered so then i'll go and see here so maybe let's say after two days i should ideally see guys i should ideally see either the short coverings here or the long built ups in last two days three days you got got the point so this is how i use the concept tool you got it right either i should see short coverings or else longs getting built up that will happen only when the stock hits here but let's say tomorrow i see it for two days uh, there are like longs getting built up so i'll not wait for here and then i'll just re-enter here so my first target would be this one right just in case if it gets break uh, breach the uh, resistance i'll i'll continuously monitor this thing so this is how i do the stock selection so you might be wondering why i'm sh 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 saying these shots because i want some good potential stocks which are having basically shots getting built up check this guys let's check this all this from 10th april from 29th march till 10th april there were either shots getting covered because check this one whoever has went into shorts they started booking their what stock so whenever the shorts get the short covering happen the market tends to go up so if you want to look just check this this is the time right from 29th march till almost like uh, 10th april 
Okay, let's see. From 29th March till almost like 10th April. Simple guys, right? So there were like short covering. On 29th March and 31st March, there were short coverings basically. So where is that 29th March? 29th March and uh, 31st, right? 29th March and what was that? One second. Yeah, 29th and 31st short coverings. But check the market, right? 29th March, the market went by 0.65% and uh, 31st it went by uh, what? 7.78%. Uh, check, check this here, right? On... 3rd of April guys, 3rd of April market went by 0.27% but let's just check this right though we have 3rd of April though we have bulls here but ideally right end of the day too many short coverings might have happened and also along with the buying but buyers have dominated but still the market went down by why? How much is this, right? Ideally, technically, the market was down by 2.7%. So, maybe market went up, basically. If you look at this I, it might have made the gain, but all of a sudden, there were like few shorters. Like, you know, right, gamblers and everything, they'll enter. And then this day, what is this, basically? So, this day, what that was like 5th of April, this almost gave 4%. 5th of April, this 5th of April, right? So, this is how I do the stock selection. Now, now you can do for LTIM and LIC housing. So, let's see LIC housing. One second, guys. Let, let's see LIC <coughs> housing, right? Yeah, this one. Okay. Now, we already have done the price action. Now, this is where the LIC housing is standing. Okay. Now, whenever it, it took the support, it went up, took the support, went up, took the support, went up, there was a breakdown, again took the support resistance, it went up and now it is standing at the same consolidation. So, it can be a make or break. So, how will you get to know whether this is a breakout, whether this will be a, a bullish or a bearish stock by using something called data driven. That's it. In LIC, we see two days of buying getting developed the longs are getting developed see short 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 so what did i say either longs are getting built up or short covering maybe tomorrow there could be short covering because all the sellers who might have sold right all of a sudden there are a long so they will either book their profit or maybe people who might have sold here they might book their losses so so they have to uncover their position so it can be short covering Right, all the people who went short here, they'll be doing the short covering. That is profit booking. All the people who went short on 13th April, the next day it went up. So they will be squaring off their losses by doing the short covering. But this is the way, guys, you have to do the what price action and the stock selection process. Right or wrong, who cares? But at least you'll have some sort of data into your mind. Right now, now let's say if I want to see only the longs. If I want to see the only the longs for last 10 days. So, these are all the stocks. See, check this. Last 20 days, what all stocks are what all are stocks are making continuous uh, long build-ups? So, these are the stocks. So, just to filter it out, what you can do is like you can just go for 14 days. Check it. No 14 days. Uh, what I'll do is like I'll go for 12 days. Okay. Now, this is, this is one of the issue. So, this is not getting clickable. So, this is how. So, let's say there are like 2 to 3 stocks. Ideally. So, now I'll check those stocks. If it is at the resistance, I'll not go into swing. But the same stocks which are at this support level, I'll go. Because resistance is, stock already gave a momentum. So, there is a strong resistance. So, tendency to come, tendency to retrace is more. But if I have like 2 to 3 stocks, but they are at a support level or else they have given the breakout. They have given the breakout at my resistance level, then I'll enter into this. So, each and every learnings what I share you guys, you have to connect those dots. Watch my last week video. Last Sunday, I've made a video wherein we have discussed about how to know reversal, how to know retracement, how to check the retracement, how to know what is the breakout, breakout point, breakdown point, retracement, consolidations. Guys, I mean, do not take all this video slide, but still, I wanted to share this video with you. Alright, thank you. <coughs>